in mega projects undertaken by the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF Board. Appearing before the Parliament Investment Committee, Office of the Auditor General says the NHIF Board cannot explain how billions of shillings was misappropriated through dubious procurement and tendering processes. And as reporter Henry Tend in our files, Kenyans may have lost over two billion in inflated payments. Take a look. As of that, of June 2020. The Office of the Auditor General appeared before the Parliamentary Investment Committee to present an audit report of the financial undertakings at the National Health Insurance Fund Board. In the report, the Office of the Auditor General raises questions on the misappropriation of billions of shillings through inflated bills on various projects at the insurance body. A viral record indicate that the car park was completed in July 2008 at a total cost of Kenya shillings 3 billion 342 million 120,000 shillings. The Parliamentary Investment Committee took the NHIF board to task seeking to know why the board sanctioned questionable projects where the nation lost money. The construction of a car park at the NHIF headquarters was placed at the center of fraud. The committee was at pain to understand why the budget was inflated from an initial amount of 900 million to over 3 billion. This is a complete fraud and we will have to excuse it to the latter. There is no way you can increase, even if you go to the act, you can look at it for 30 minutes, 3 days, whatever. There's no way you can increase any variation to 337%. In the name of contractor having increased service area, the NHIF board through the CEO had a rough time explaining the outrageous inflation in the course of the contract. The management, as per the contract provisions, introduced vehicular lifts that were not part of the tender designs and bill of quantities. The cost could not be retained at the original amount, which was 909.7 million, since uh, the contractor had already increased the service area of the project. However, the explanation was not satisfactorily on the part of the committee, and the probe continued. And as he came, he knew there would come questions from the procurement process because he had also led whatever is contained. And that is a Bible that a priest cannot leave. So when he starts saying, give me time, then he seems not prepared, and he's wasting time for this committee. The public did not get value for their money for just single sourcing for one contractor on a value which is almost two point something billion. You didn't pre-qualify for it. You, it was not competitively awarded. So the principal loaded to poor MTRH for getting 312 million, they are starting even before interest. They are starting at 384. So I think the witness needs to come clear that she misled the committee on the real principle and correct herself and maybe ask for the third apology. The committee also raised queries on payments for projects not delivered and a loan shrouded in controversy advanced by the NHIF board to Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. Henry Tende, Luca.